So now I'm going to turn this over to David Kaplan, who's going to talk about our treasured Shrik Haggadah. And thank you very much, David, and go ahead. Thank you very much, Peter. I really appreciate that nice introduction. Uh, yes, I'm David Kaplan, and I'm involved in various aspects of JHSFC operations. But this evening, I want to introduce you to one of my passionate interests. We are indeed fortunate to own a fabulous treasure, a work at the pinnacle of the graphic illustrator's art, and that's the Shikagata. It's uh, an exceptionally beautiful leather-bound work, including 48 of Schick's illustrations and textual adornments. Our Haggadah is one of the first editions signed and numbered copies that sold for $500 in 1940, but today is considered rare and extremely valuable. So who was Arthur Schick? Well, the basics, born in Lutz, Poland in 1884, moved to New York in 1940. Interestingly, lived in New Canaan from 1945 to 1951. So hey, let's call him our adopted native son. The general consensus is that he was one of the most important and famous illustrators of the 20th century. His works were featured everywhere from the exalted to the commonplace, White House to New York Yellow Pages, books, magazines throughout the United States, Europe, Palestine, Israel, and beyond. Schick infused Jewish religious images and values into his work, including his political pieces. Now here I've uh, displayed just a, a small number of the, the many book uh, magazine covers that he illustrated uh, during his life. Uh, I could have uh, shown you a similar slide for his book covers. Now, Schick considered himself an activist who used his art as his sword, whether supporting the fight against the Bolsheviks in his native Poland, commemorating George Washington and the American Revolution, advocating for a Jewish homeland in Palestine, or as depicted here, fighting as one of the first anti-Hitler cartoonists, explaining cleverly that the painter of books wants to reply to the wall painter. Allegedly, the Fuhrer put a price on the head of his nemesis. In this poster, he portrayed himself at his desk, finishing off a rogues gallery of Nazi and Axis leaders. In his Agudda's 48 paintings, he injected his anti-fascism into his art. In the center, you see Schick's illustration of the four sons. Note the Hitlerian mustache on the wicked son, upper left, who is dressed in Bavarian attire. Another political statement illustrating Schick's advocacy of Zionism is at the lower left. The son who does not know how to ask is depicted as a Palestinian pioneer. The other illustrations depict the range of beauty, detail, and hyper-realism that contrast greatly to the stylized and often cartoonish illustrations we see in other Haggadahs. In 1945, Schick moved to New Canaan where he lived until his death in 1951. Much of his important work was produced there. The historian Cecil Roth says it well, to call Arthur Schick the greatest illuminator since the 16th century is no flattery. It is a simple truth which becomes manifest to any person who studies his work with the care which it deserves. We are immensely proud to have Schick's Agata both for its artistic value and for the Jewish values he imbued in this work. <laughs> 